what I see is the modalities um, that are coming through the cell therapies and the regenerative medicines are also going to become mainstream in the bio industry in addition to what we normally see right now in terms of the large uh, uh, monoclonal antibodies and other therapeutic protein type of therapies. Uh, I do see that the checkpoint inhibitors type of therapies for oncology are going to continue to remain very big in the next five years. Um, and so what I see in the bio industry is uh, the, the mainstay, which is the monoclonals, plus on top of it, other modalities uh, like cell therapies. And then um, you should also see uh, regenerative medicine coming in. So that's what's going to become uh, more and more prevalent in the next five years. Well, I think uh, one of the main areas that companies have to focus on are to make sure that they are prepared. Uh, because as these new modalities demonstrate efficacy, they have to be prepared to be able to supply. Uh, so whether it is stem cells or whether it is regenerative medicine or whether it is cell therapies, um, you know, there are more, more and more of these type of modalities are showing um, benefit to patients. Uh, a lot of them are going to be personalized medicine. Um, so the question is, are we ready from an industry standpoint to be able to uh, serve patients uh, with these modalities? And so I think what companies have to be able to do now is to ensure that they have thought through um, both the production and supply chain aspects of these new, new modalities. That's, that's number one. Number two, I think that um, uh, as you see in Industry 4.0 with digitalization coming into um, manufacturing, um, as you all know, automotive industry is uh, first adopters in many, uh, many of those things like uh, robotics. Um, I think that uh, for our industry to benefit from that would, uh, would, be, uh, would be the next wave uh, in which the industry can become uh, more productive and also uh, reduce execution risk. Um, I've seen some early examples of uh, what digital technologies can do. Um, and it can definitely improve our ability to service patients. Uh, for example, we can have better training of our employees. We can do simulations of our facilities before they're commissioned. We can um, use robot, uh, robotics um, in ways that we've never thought about before. All of these type of ideas are going to be able to help us execute better and therefore ultimately serve patients. My presentation was to show uh, to the delegates that manufacturing, which is generally seen as um, a, a supply-based um, service, um, is, uh, can also be used to drive business. Um, in, in, our, in the cases that I showed today, we were able to show that manufacturing innovation is actually a driver for, de uh, for creating business deals that can create enormous amount of value. For example, in the cases that I showed today, um, we, uh, we demonstrated that manufacturing innovation serve um, customer needs in ways by which they will, um, uh, they will partner with you. Um, and in the, in the two cases that I showed, we were able to bring new products to the pipeline of Takeda with the full development cost fully paid by the partners. Our biggest challenge is to ensure that whatever promises we've made, we, we, we uh, come through with that, which is that we, uh, we uh, the technologies, the manufacturing innovations that we've, uh, we are using, we want to be able to show that they actually deliver um, the, the products so at, the, at the prices that we promised. Uh, so the next couple of years are going to be all about execution. So we have to be able to show that we can use these technologies to make 50 million doses at low prices. And that's going to require um, large uh, investment uh, in, in doing uh, large scale batches and number of batches showing reliability as well as yield uh, that can ultimately deliver those, uh, those promises. I always like coming here, uh, primarily because of the quality of the speakers. I've always found that uh, the speakers um, provide insights uh, that are um, very current and uh, topical and uh, extremely useful for me to take back and apply in my own, in, in my own work. Uh, the fact that we had the, um, um, the lunch and learn was very unique. Uh, I found that that was a great use of the lunchtime, where I was sitting around um, on a round table with a bunch of other folks, and I learned enormously about, uh, about packaging. Um, I just want to congratulate you for, uh, for bringing a great um, conference uh, for manufacturing. Um, uh, it's obviously attracting some, some uh, very senior people, um, and I think that even for my employees and many of my Takeda people are here, um, this is going to be a, a very good learning experience. Thank you.